Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to From Biologist to Education Consultant Sharing Session. My name is Kabil Lu, the moderator of the sharing session. Uh, dear Dr. Chai thank you for your contribution uh, by sharing your experience, knowledge and tips on how to be uh, an education uh, consultant. Now, let me introduce our invited speakers today, Dr. Pui Chai Fong. Dr. Pui is the founder of Fun Learning with Rainbow and is our alumni graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Industrial Biology at UTM in year 2008. Salam sejahtera and selamat pagi semua. A very good morning to Dr. Wan Siti Nur Afira, President Biosas, Inci Elvin Lau, Timbalan Setiap Usaha Persafaan Simbiosis, parents, students and distinguished guests. I'm Pui Chafong, founder of Fine Learning with Rainbow. First of all, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to UTM Biosas Economy and Entrepreneurship Expo for the invitation to share my transformation journey from biology to education consultant. Today, I will bring you a relaxed webinar, so I hope all of you can enjoy the fullness. Before I start, let's have a quick way to know each other better. You can type your answer in the chat box, okay? So if you are a student, type 1. If you are a working adult, type 2. If you are parents, type 3. So when I started to draft my presentation today, my mind flashed back to those days when I overnight in lab or doing my final year project or when we have Rocky Chanai at the Akhet Muranti Akhet Journal. So you know if you are from UK, uh, UTM, okay? So those times, I appreciate um, the growing journey. And guess what? It was 14 years ago since I graduated. So how time flies, right? If you are almost my batch, you might Let's see this special moment, a special feeling when we all step into the convocation hall. So if you are still student, you are going to be. So imagine the special moment. We will be overwhelmed with congratulations, messages of from our friends and family. Of course, that is the moment that our parents are so proud of us. Don't you agree? So once we step out from the graduation hall, we welcome the new adventure of our life. Immediately after I graduated from my degree, Industrial Biology, I faced the dilemma, whether to further study or to work. So if to work, whether I want to work in KL or go back to my own hometown because I'm from Sarawak. Life is about making decisions. They say if you come to a fork or in the rock, take it. So take it. Yes, but I take for my rock, ladies and gentlemen. Life is full of choices. We exist in the field of infinite possibilities. I assure that every choice that we make makes a uniqueness. It is all in our hands that we can make a difference in our life. After I graduated from this degree, I decided to go for my master. So I took Master of Science Food Safety in UPM. The project this time was about Salmonella species in sliced fruit. Also, it took two years for me to complete the master candidature. Again, life presents us with many, many choices. But with the master degree in hand, how far can I go? I ask myself, is it time to work or continue the journey to PhD? Because of my beloved auntie, during my Viva presentation, it's a wake up call for me. There are also some factors such as ages and then working experience and of course, finance. So for me, I made the decision that prioritized my inner peace. Okay, so I went back to my hometown and looked for opportunities. I learned to be faithful on my own self and I am blessed that in the middle of my frustration lies an opportunity. And I am fortunate that I was accepted as a research officer in a peat soil lab. So during those time, right, I enjoyed myself doing the sharing as a biologist uh, to the school students during some uh, exhibition and then we went to the field for some field work and then I had the opportunity to travel overseas including presenting, finding, represents Malaysia to Stockholm, Sweden. Also, I'm thankful that I met my better half in the working space. So we are blessed to have two boys in our life now and life has exactly taught me to count my blessings rather than problems nor counting my wrinkles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so when we count our blessings, we attract more blessings to our life, including love, peace, 
prosperities. I work for two years and I received a call from a lecturer, Yonimas. This time, the lecturer was looking for a PhD candidate. She got a research grant on lactose pyrosis. And that time, I was fortunate enough to be granted scholarship to further my PhD. So with the scholarship, I embraced the journey. And my PhD journey, in fact, was a very challenging journey for me as I need many red and environmental samples where I went to all the national parks and elsewhere or to urban areas just to get the rats and environmental samples so I also need to develop methods to classify the bacteria or having all of you know that when we are uh, doing our PhD we need some new findings or to contribute to the society it was time that I wanted to give up especially when I had to process all the samples during my pregnancy when I had a very serious nausea. I am fortunate to have a very supportive supervisory committee who support me from behind and also my family members and friends who always cheers for me that I will reach the end some days. So, at last, I managed to do it, although I faced all those obstacles and so on, which I believe that it had been my very good life story. Uh, hanging on the words, the graduation photos of mine, and these three portrait photos is truly a real accomplishment. It is all the special moments that make my life a big adventure. All the hard work, sacrifices, sleepless nights, struggles, and downforce head off when we achieve our dream. So to the undergraduates who are in this, let me know. Be faithful along your journey if you wish to further your master or PhD journey. Go after what you want in your life. So there is a favorite quote of mine which supported me quite well. So I share with all of you here. When you want to give up, remember why you started. When you start, keep working on the path. Do not stop until you reach the end. Sometimes we face the challenges when our plans did not come the way we planned it to be. Don't you agree? So when life doesn't go as what you plan, what are you going to do? After my PhD graduation, right, I hunted for lecturer course in Sarawak. At different stages of life, our priority differs. If I was still single at that time, I think I would be very willingly travel to somewhere, or for example, overseas, or to have a postdoctorate or a lecturer post here in my special field, microbiologist. My decision that time was staying at my hometown with my family and taking care of my little ones, and also wait for the lecturer post here. Expectation fits frustration. There was time, of course, I felt so hopeless and noises from others were terrifying. There are times that when you feel so frustrated, just when you heard that others, okay, especially your friends, were talking about you behind of you. Sentences like, what for you study so high? And at the end, you go nowhere and then you did not get what you want. You did not secure a post. So all of these sentences just came to me that time. So what I face all of this, okay, and I learned from the experience to cherish what we have and treat all of this as a blessing. Do not let others' noise drown out your own inner voice. Why I was taking care of my little babies, but on looking at opportunities like many people uh, we brush through the facebook website and so on so i did involve in online business as well uh, it ever sell the facial products hair dye and then some shopping courses and so on so it is like i do anything that i can in order for me to have some pocket monies so i do not care what people think about me that time uh, i know that i can live a better life someday being a positively minded individual, I kept on looking for the light. So, where is the light? I believe that there is always rainbow after rain. And have a little more patience. You will be surprised with what tomorrow will bring to you. Of all the dark adversity comes opportunity. 
and because of that i choose to grab the opportunity i believe that many of you know nelson mandela right so education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world on 2019 oh, i am very thankful that i come across an online learning program and because of my enthusiasm in education and i know that that is the path that i'm going to do for the rest of my life uh, when i first approached it i was totally amazed by the features that this program can help malaysian school students and it caters from preschool five years old until form five and then i like this program because it can help future generations to learn in a fun way including my two little boys it is a very very special feeling when i finally can involve myself in the parenting education something that i found happiness in whenever i share to others passion is energy when we do what we are passionate at we can feel the power that excites us so when i do all of this sharing to parents to teachers to students i can feel the power of the love and then all of these things make me decided to have my whole life dedicate my whole life in this parenting education so ladies and gentlemen have you ever asked yourself what is your passion know your passion okay do what you love love what you do step by step you will be able to live the life to the fullest follow your dreams so i hope that through my very personal sharing with all of you on my transformation journey it's bring you a take home message to to think about all your passion and what you want as long as you have the intention you will reach the end someday before i end the sharing today i have three good news as what i mentioned just now to all of you the first news for the today is job opportunity here those who are interested to join me as an education consultant requirement is that you believe in education and you are willing to learn you can work in team and you have positive mindset so what can we offer to you of course we have a proven system or evergreen market low rejection rate systematic guidance and business training for successful applicants so that if you have more patients or you are interested with this post you can send the call and then uh, contact me after the webinar okay brief right our company had received seven awards and recognition and we recorded the highest number of student subscribers in an online education learning uh, so we have more than 100,000 subscribers who enjoy this learning program what can i offer to you from a biology to education consultant i have been helping students all over malaysia to learn in a fun way okay and they give me satisfactory rating this motivates me to continue to serve to society okay and besides that i also train my teammates all over malaysia to be professional in sharing this online learning tool and i'm also a speaker in our online education webinar Recently, I was awarded with some incentive from our company, including car installment incentive. And then uh, during the New Year time, we have this Golden Fortune Award. Ooh, because uh, out of nowhere, I find my way. So that I have committed my whole life to parenting education. The token of appreciation to Biosize UTM okay, for inviting me to, uh, to do the sharing today. Uh, I would like to sponsor uh, one year of online learning program to one lucky one uh, if you are not winning don't be sad because i am throwing the last good news to everyone here as a token of appreciation for all of you for staying until now so you can enjoy the free one session of consultation with me okay thank you very much and my deepest gratitude extends to biosas for the opportunity for me to do the sharing today i'm always proud to be part of utm alumni may we uh, progress together and we contribute to the society together well such a very interesting uh, sharing today so ladies and gentlemen our highest gratitude goes to dr pui for her valuable sharing this morning and may all the knowledge and experiences shared can provide an insight to every audience here so as saying goes to every beginning there's an ending 
on behalf of the organizing committee, I will once again like to express my greatest gratitude to Dr. Kui Chai Ho. So hope to see you again in the future.